Winter is over and field season has finally started. The team's out here in the Niobrara Chalk Formation of Western Kansas chasing after marine fossils. But before we go dig anything up, we have to find something. When we get out to the field, we don't just stab a shovel into the ground and start digging. Paleontologists spend a lot of time just walking slowly through the badlands, looking at the ground, scanning, searching for pieces of bone. It's not like hiking. We walk slowly, keeping our eyes on the ground and staying focused for anything out of place. As bones erode out, they tumble down the hillside. So when I find a fragment like this one, the first thing I do is take a step back and see if there's any more. If there are more pieces, I follow them up the hill until I spot where they're eroding from. Now I know where to dig. Once I trace the fossil into the hillside, I dig a quick evaluation pit to see if it's worth collecting. Nine out of 10 times, I go bust. That's because a lot of the times the fossils are too broken up and fragmentary, or they're in too bad a shape, or there's just not enough material there to be worth it. When that happens, I pick up and I keep walking. In the next episode, you'll see how the excavation process works. So subscribe to the channel and come see some fossils and skeletons at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado.